Rush, the FBI believes there could be more victims of a former local basketball coach. Hi, everyone, and thanks for joining us today at 4. I'm Erin Connolly. And I'm Courtney Zeller. The federal government says over the span of at least four years, Danny Lawhorn is accused of sexually assaulting his female players. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Matthew Campbell is live in studio with more on this case. And Matthew, obviously this is so disturbing. What are police saying exactly happened here? Yeah, Aaron and Courtney, let's start with who these players are and the type of league that they're in. This is AAU basketball, so some really gifted athletes who travel to play on teams. Now, at least one victim was not from this country and needed a place to stay. Lawhorn offered for her to stay with him and his girlfriend, WNBA player Bria Holmes. Now, it was at their home where police say a 17-year-old was assaulted. Let's take a look again at 30-year-old Danny Lawhorn. Police in Hartford and East Hartford have charged him with several counts of sex second-degree sexual assault. The victims are all between the ages of 16 and 17, which Lawhorn's attorney notes is within the age of consent. But federal agents argue the acts were not consensual. Court documents reveal that the assaults all started with Lawhorn asking for a massage. It would then turn to a sexual nature. And going back to the AAU League, again, players come from all over, and that's why the FBI held a news conference today asking for any other potential victims to come forward. I would ask that they please come forward to make sure that this doesn't happen to anybody else, uh, that we will keep their information confidential, uh, and they'll be dealing with agents who are professional and uh, have been dealing with this type of crime in the past and understand it very well. Now, Lawhorn has not posted bond, and coming up at 5, we're going to dig deeper through the federal court documents and reveal the troubling discovery police made when they arrested Lawhorn. That at 5, but for now, live here in studio, Matthew Campbell, Channel 3 Eyewitness News. Okay.